Uh, my name is Alex. VA7ACG is the call. You know, I never in a million years thought I'd be putting videos on YouTube about stuff. But over the last while I've looked at a lot of videos on YouTube about things I'm interested in, in this case ham radio. And you know, it's an excellent forum for, for blogging about various things. Anyway, here's the first edition of what I, a little ditty I'd like to call bollocks. Any of you with a British background, or like Gordon Ramsay, or look it up, B-O-L-L-O-C-K-S, uh, it's bullshit, basically. <laughs> you know, it never fails to amaze me. I bought a uh, beam, a tri-bander beam antenna uh, a few months ago, and I finally got to the stage of getting it put up. You all know what that's about. It takes a while to get there. And I bought this most wonderful beam and uh, bought the Balan to go with it. Highly recommended, apparently, and I thought, you know, how could I go wrong? The BN4000B Balan, for you who are familiar with high-gain products. And got this all hooked up, went for an initial checkout, and the way I check my stuff out is I use the uh, Array Solutions AIM4170C uh, antenna analyzer. And I got nothing. And I thought, what the heck's going on here? You're tired. Check your stuff. Check your connections. Nothing a problem. And I don't know why. Call me paranoid, but I thought, I wonder if that ballot is screwed. This just looks like something really odd. I don't see this unless, you know, there's an open or something just really bizarre going on. So I disconnected the elements direct the driven elements from the ballot and to my amazement, really no difference. Well that tells me the elements weren't even really in the equation when I swept it the first time. And you know, a hundred and nine bucks later and uh being told your warranty, uh, well, hell, you've had the thing sitting around for so long, how do we know you didn't screw it up? Whatever, whatever. $109 later, I thought, well, I guess I better uh, choose another ballon to use, but hey, I couldn't find the answer anywhere on the web. And I usually can see something on the web about people that have had problems before. Well, somebody did say they had a little oddity about this directions that come with the ballon, saying, oh, by the way, if you get no continuity, it's open between the appropriate connections of the ballon. Oh, that's normal. Say what? How's that work? Well, maybe there's physics class I missed, but nonetheless, I spent my hundred nine dollars and took this baby apart. And what do we find? You got it. What do you think? A broken wire in assembly, and no doubt with all the gunk they stick in this damn thing. Not hard for them to break a wire. That's all that was wrong with it. It's going in the garbage, of course. But for my hundred nine dollars, now you all know. No, there's got to be continuity. And the other thing that's kind of bizarre is they have this little nine-inch piece of wire that terminates into nowhere. I'll bring this up real close so you can have a good look at it. I hope. But there's this wire that goes to these terminals for the uh, driven elements, but it's dead-ended. It's some sort of resonance thing, I suppose. But where the problem was, as you can see how they do this, I'm hoping you might be able to. I don't know if my lighting's that good for this premiere video. But they wrap a bunch of wire around there and that goes onto the braid. Well, this one didn't survive quite as well. There's a little part there. Uh, I don't think it's going to focus for me, unfortunately, but right in there. Broke right away from the braid. That's why there's no continuity. That's why there's nothing going on there. Could that have toasted my amp? I don't know. You tell me. But I won't be buying any high gain products. Not like this. See you next time. VA7 ACG.